Um, ladies and gentlemen, you know, uh, to the podium, I'd like to call up uh, the notorious one, Conor McGregor. What's up, everybody? Hello. Put my whiskey down, notorious Irish whiskey. Coming soon. Um, do I answer questions or do I just rattle on? Rattle on? No problem. It was a good fight. I thought I smoked them the early rounds. I thought I bust you up the early rounds, but I tell you what, you're one composed individual. Um, you didn't get rattled. You tucked in when you needed to tuck in. I thought you. You switched up your game plan three times. <clears throat> you came out looking to box. I thought you were being outboxed early on. You looked to play against the ropes like you looked to play. You were getting picked off there. And then you came in, hands, hands up towards your forehead, dipped in head, forehead on the chest, and started to fight that kind of fight. I didn't anticipate that. Three, three game changes in the, in the fight. That's what a true champion does. Much respect. You, 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 you came with it. You know what I mean? I got to give respect to that. <clears throat> it was a hell of a fight. I would have liked him to see... The, the, the end of the tent. I think fatigue, there's like a patch, there's a patch somewhere in, in the middle of fights, even with the Diaz 2 fight. I have this patch where I must overcome. I get a little wobbly and I start kind of, but it's more fatigue and I can't, if you look at the Diaz 2 fight, I came through that, came back round four, round five. I would have liked him to see round, the end of round 10 and see where it brought us, but hell of a competitor. Switched it up, kept the pressure. You've got to give your hat off to, to, to Floyd. A hell of a career. Congratulations. Um, it was a good fight. It was a bit of fun, right? <laughs> it was a bit of fun. I, I have to say I enjoyed it. The boxing game is a lot, lot different than the, 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 the mixed martial arts game from everything, the, the approach to it. Um, I thought the referee done a, done a great job as well. I, I do feel it was a little bit early, but I, I respect his decision, and I thought he done an amazing job. I thought he let the fight flow where, where it should have flown. Um... I think Floyd's frames were nice. When, when he throws the shots, and he doesn't smother his oak, he frames. And, and early on, I, when he was framing on, on, on me, I was shooking, and taking his, shooking him and taking his back. But I'm like, midway through the fight, when, the, when I add his back, the referee is just resetting us and resetting us in the middle. And I'm like, somewhere in the middle of all that, I was like, I'm using valuable energy here to get to this man's back. And then we're just being reset to go again. So it kind of flustered me a little bit. And... And he was able to capitalize on it. He, he's, he's very, um, very composed, picks his shots very well, bounces shots off himself very well, and hides, hides himself well. You know what I mean? I, I, I believe he was hurt a few times, <clears throat> but he, he keeps his composure. He doesn't show it. So, um, look, I enjoyed it. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, it was a fun fight. Hey, Connor, straight, straight ahead of you here. Yeah. Con congratulations uh, on, a, on a great performance tonight. I wonder if you can, you referenced it a little bit about boxing and MMA are different. Can you uh, kind of uh, expand on that a little bit and explain what you liked about the boxing business and, and what you prefer about the MMA business? I thought, you know, huh? the check is all right. The check's not bad. <laughs> Very good. But look, I'm going to try and... I've already been raising the MMA check, so don't, don't get it twisted. I'm still going to raise the MMA, MMA checks when I go back there. Um, now, just the whole, the whole... It's just a lot more... I don't know what the fuck the difference is, but it's different. It's very different. It's just a little bit more cleaner or something. Um, but I, I tell you what, I enjoyed it very, very much. It was an honor for me to come over here in the boxing side and showcase my skills. I know there was, there was a lot of disrespect and disregard for my skill. You know what I mean? I'm a multiple weight free fighting world champion. I, I, I was a little bit taken back by the, the, the disrespect and the disregard that I was shown. I, in, in fairness, Floyd and his team never actually showed that disrespect. It was just the overall, everyone else. And it was almost like a little bit of a jealousy thing, so I kind of just got over it. But the disrespect for my skill set was a little bit... You know, it took me back a little bit, but um, I, I always knew that when the fight comes around, August 26th, I'm going to show up and I'm going to give a good account of myself. And I thought I'd put him out there, and I went to put him out. And I believe the first couple of shots flustered him, and I, I hit him a few times, but then he started reading it, and then he started parrying the shots well. He had a good, strong parry on his lead hand. 
Um, he dipped low, caught, caught the body shots well. When he started engaging in his right hand to the body, I thought it was very well. Um, I enjoyed the fight. It was, it was a great contest and a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff I'll take with me um, to, in my training. That's, 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 people ask me what, what's next. I'm not quite sure what's next. I have multiple titles in the UFC to, to, to think about. Um, I can also continue in the boxing game. So I'm, what's next for me is continue to study and continue to learn. I'm a student of, of martial arts and fighting as a whole. I've studied everyone in the game, in all games, including Floyd. And it was an honor to share the ring with him and, and, and get up close and personal. I feel, <clears throat> I feel I held my own earlier. I feel it was close. I feel 5-4. I feel it was 5-4 into round 10. I would have liked him to get to, to, the, to the bell to see what was what. <clears throat> Connor, this was the longest fight of your career, uh, your previous longest Oh, that whiskey tastes so good. Oh, shit. Notorious Irish whiskey. Come in soon. I don't think I stop for half a second. I'm going to take over the Irish whiskey market. And this is delicious, so keep an eye out for it. <clears throat> Connor, I was basically mentioning that it was really around the 26th, 27th minute when a lot of the damage started to accumulate and add up. Did you feel that there was some sort of difference going a lot longer than you had previously? Of course. One of the main things in, in, in camp was go from five rounds to 12 rounds. That was obviously the main fucking thing. I had to experience that 12-round fatigue. And in the spars, with all my sparring partners, when I do the 12 rounds, there was always those middle rounds where I was like, I'd get to say six, and then I'd be like, I couldn't see the finish line. I'd be like, fuck, I've got so many more rounds left. And I'd like, I, I couldn't see the finish line. But then when I got through them, I got to like round 10, 11, 11, certainly 11 and 12, I could see, okay, there's only six minutes left, and I could dig deep, and, and then I'd get that second win. That's why I would have loved it if I could have just got to the end of that 10th round. But... The referee, I thought, done a great, a great job. I thought he let the fight play, and I thought Floyd was phenomenal in there. Very composed, very select with his shots. Uh, and that's it. We live and we learn. And, Connor, there was also some discussion that your body actually looked a little bit different for the boxing match as it did for MMA. How did you rebuild your body, especially in the midsection, for the boxing fight? And how long will it take you to uh, adapt your frame again to come back to MMA? I think, I think the more you engage in wrestling and grappling, the, the upper body gets a little bit more blocky, a little bit more full. Whereas when I was engaging in, in, in boxing training solely, it was more cardiovascular based. So the body was trimming out. And then obviously I put in the stomach work. I, 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 knew, I knew they were coming for the, he was coming for the body. Um, and, his, and his straight right hands to the body were nice. They were timed well. They were set up well. And fair play to him. I, I, fair play to him. But I, I, I will get back into my uh, jiu-jitsu training. I will get back into my freestyle wrestling training. I will start engaging in, in my kicking again. And we'll see what's next. I'll also look to adjust and prepare for a fighter that comes in with his forehead first and his hands up. Oh, you know, in, in camp, I had one sparring partner that fought like that, but everyone else kind of fought in that kind of traditional Philly Shell style or even a little bit more light in the feet or a little bit more back against the ropes. But I only had one sparring partner that actually came and pressed forward. He had a bit of weight on me. And I only sparred him for the first six rounds. And then I'd move on to someone else. And I, 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 I can't help but feel the way the fight panned out and the way Floyd adjusted and, and adopted that style. If I'd have had more of him in the later rounds in sparring, I would have been more prepared for that feeling. And I wouldn't have wasted some shots on the guard and on, uh, and on the gloves. And, and I would have been a little bit better prepared for that. Connor, it was a, uh, a fun fight tonight for sure, and I think you proved some doubters wrong. But, uh, of course, you know MMA fans want to know when they're going to get you back in the UFC cage. <clears throat> I'm young, I'm fresh, and I'm ready. I mean, I was just tired in there, I feel. You know what I mean? He caught me with some nice shots, but I wasn't dazed or rattled or anything like that. So I was just... Bollocksed is the term we call it in Ireland. So um, we'll see what happens. I'm going to hit. I beat a childhood friend of mine is getting married. I'm going to charter out a 100 foot yacht, maybe for a day. Fuck that pain for the whole thing, the whole whack. Um, and just rally it for a day, have a big party on it, take a load of pictures, and then just get the fuck off it. <laughs> um, 
that's, that's probably my plans. And then I'll see what's next. You, uh, you built to this o over a long time. You saw this. Uh, I certainly you wanted to get the win, but, but what's next? How can you take this to the next level? What's the next vision? <sighs> Haven't I? I don't know. Uh, this was some buzz to come in and face this man. And, do, and you know, so many doubters, so many, it's never going to happen. Like, even thinking it's never going to happen. Remember that time. This fight is never going to happen. And I always stood like, we can get this fight happen. Then it was like, I'm not going to lay a glove. And there were so many things to overcome. And I just enjoyed the whole experience. So I'm just relishing in it for now. I have many options in, 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 in mixed martial arts. I'm sure uh, there's options now that will present themselves in the boxing game. I'm a f right now, I'm a free agent. My name is on the ring. There you go, McGregor Sports and Entertainment on the ring, in a boxing ring. That's something to be proud of. I'm, I'm very proud of that. So I'll see what's, what's next, but I'm open. I love competing. I love a good fight. Tonight was a damn good fight, and that's why you're seeing me up here with my head, my, my, my heart, um, um, uh, you know what I mean? Show my heart. Um, I enjoyed myself, and, and, and that's it. Long may I continue, and we'll see what's next. I can't tell you exactly what's next, but no, something will be next. Connor, here Ruiz with Telemundo. Um, you said you saw the fight five to four when, when it was stopped. Um, one of the judges had you winning the first three rounds where you were clearly the, clearly the aggressor and Floyd was studying your style, but the other two judges had it eight to one in favor of Floyd. Does that surprise you a bit? I, I, think, that's, I think that's very, very biased. I, I'm actually shocked at that. I thought I won the first three rounds clearly. Fourth round could be argued either way. We'll say 3-1. And then he, took all, he started to take over then, and I thought I, took, I snuck in eight, round eight. Then he won nine and then got the stoppage in ten. So what was that? 5-4 in, into, the, into the final round, and he got the win. But in reality, all that means nothing. He got the win. Respect to him. I enjoyed it. I thought I'd done okay. You know, I thought I switch hit it. I switch hit it a few times. He was wide to that. I know Paulie was on the phone to him telling him certain movements, but I switched through the lead hook. And he pulled from it a few times beautifully. Then I switched it up and hit the, switched and hit the lead to the body. I caught him once or twice with that. But he's a smooth operator in there. He's not 50 and 0 for no reason. Um, so I just, enjoyed, I just enjoyed the whole process of it. I would have liked him to see the final bell. I think, I think I deserve to see the final bell, but what can you do? I, I certainly, you can say what you want. I put in so much work for this. I worked my fucking ass off. Like, I really properly worked my ass off. And there is something, like, I need to get over. I need to figure out why there is these dips in the middle area of a fight. It, keeps hap it happens to me a few times. And um, I just need to figure it out and keep pushing and keep going and keep striving. I've, I've reached great heights. And I will continue to reach great heights and continue to improve and get better. And that's, that's what it's all about. We compete, we get better, and we come back. Connor, just to your right, um, apparently was hopping, bouncing back home there tonight in Dublin and in Ireland. Obviously, we saw in Las Vegas here the Irish crowd have uh, travelled in their droves as well. Have you just got a, got a message for your fans back home and the people who have travelled over this week? You weekend? know what? We represent ourselves with pride wherever we go. We raise that flag so high and so, so much pride. Like, I had a big fur coat. They made me a big fur coat and it was that... <laughs> it looked like something Ric Flair would have worn. Like a really flashy yoga came down and dragged on the back that I was going to wear to the ring. And I was like, you know what? It looks great, but I just want to wear the Irish flag. And I just parked it off and rocked the Irish flag. We're just proud people. We come. We love a fight. We love anyone that can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe and fight. And that's what we, we show respect to any, anyone that comes in and does it. So I'm just very proud of, of my people and my country, like I always am. Um, it's, been a, it's been a great ride, and long may I continue. Big round of applause for two classy, classy gentlemen.
Okay, we'll put it. <laughs> it's open every day of the week, I'm right. <laughs> It's open every day of the week. I might walk in there, but I might be volatile, and someone might have to restrain me. Great <laughs> work. So do I stay or go? Or? Con Connor? Yeah. Ellie Secback, ES News, straight ahead. First of all, congratulations on yeah. a tremendous performance. Connor, how do you spend a hundred million dollars now? Hey, what? You Coming made, in. You made a hundred million. How do you spend it? Well, that's a count. now we go into the counting phase. We count up the gate, we count up the pay-per-view, we count up the merchandise, we count up the sponsorship revenue. And I sent auditors in there like fucking sharks to count up every single duh. And I, if we're talking in the 5 million pay-per-view range or 4.6 or whatever the pack you want doing, I, I'm clearing 100 million. But it's about counting that because there's a lot of sharks in the game. So um, we're in the counting game now. And that's how I build it up and get that money and then... I don't know how I spend it. Now I just, I mean, I've made so many, I've, I've so many uh, ventures that are bringing in nice revenue for me, and <clears throat> I'm building brands, the August McGregor brand, the suit, the suit line, and and the fashion line that I'm I'm de uh, delving into, the whiskey that I'm playing into. Obviously, I have the Mac Life as well that's operating very well, um, and then that's not include, that's not even including any endorsement deals that I have. Like I have many endorsement deals as well, so. Money is good for me, and um, you know, I'm very blessed, I'm very happy that I'm in the position I'm in. Right now, I'm in the stage of forever money. As long as I'm tactical and make smart deci decisions, and don't do nothing stupid, I'm set for life. So, I've been in the, I feel I've been in that position for a while, so I just carry on living my life, carefree, with a, sharp, a smart mind. And just enjoy the rest, uh, enjoy, enjoy life. And see what's next in the fight game, because fighting is what I do and what I enjoy. I get itchy if I don't have a fight. Connor, right here. A lot of boxing pundits said that you wouldn't land a punch. You obviously landed more, you know, more strikes than many of uh, Floyd's opponents. Is there anyone in the boxing game that you would like to have an opportunity to box? I know Paulie is in here right now. Is there anybody that you'd like to box in uh, still? Yeah, you know, I'm certainly open. I'm certainly open to hearing what's, what, 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 the, what, let's say, what the Zuffa want, what our WME, IMG, what they want, and, and what Showtime want. And if they want me to come over to the boxing game, then we can talk. I'm certainly young, 29 years of age. I don't think, I don't think the boxing world or the fighting world has seen a, a man as confident as, uh, as, as confident as this come in at this age and, and, and with this amount of accolades and this amount of records and this amount of reven, revenue generated. So I'm certainly open to all options. I have certainly many contenders in the mixed martial arts game. I have a trilogy belt with, 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 with Nate Diaz that is sitting there. I've, I have options. I'll see what's, I'll see what's what. I'm, I'm, I'm here to fight. I'm certainly fresh. I'm certainly fresh to fight. I was not badly damaged there. It was fatigue. So... Um, we'll see what's next. We'll see what offers come on the table. Thank you. Thanks so much, everyone. I appreciate you all. Thank you.